The St. Kitts and Nevis Robotics Association, the SKNRA, says the reputation of St. Kitts and Nevis globally in the first global robotics Olympics has grown significantly since the country was first represented in 2017. Chairperson of the SKNRA, Dr. Ricardo Neal, in an interview with SK Newsline, spoke about how St. Kitts and Nevis moved from a small, unknown country at these competitions to becoming a highly anticipated participant. Um, because whenever we travel, um, it is unlike the first time where persons are not sure as to who we are. Now they know who we are. Um, the first and second time when we traveled to represent St. Kitts and Nevis, um, persons asked a lot of questions, you know, you know, what is that flag, you know, um, who are these people, where are you guys from? And so um, between that time and now, there is no surprise as to who we are. As a matter of fact, members who represent in the first global competition oftentimes inquire as to whether or not we are coming. So they want to know, is St. Kitts and Nevis coming? Because we tend to bring this kind of energy um, to the competition that you know, um, other countries are expecting um, you know, to see us. And we do not see it as just to travel to compete. We see it as, a, as an ambassadorial role, right? To let persons know, hey, you know, St. Kitts and Nevis is here. Uh, we have a very diverse you know, population. You know, um, we have a strong you know, tourism sector. And so you know, having, by us traveling, it attracts various persons around. So when I'm seeing, so whenever I look down the road and I see and, and I see the ships, I do know that you know some of it. I'm sure it's because of the robotics association. Locally, the SKNRA has been growing in size and interest among students in the federation. The association has five board board members, eight executive, and 300, going to 400 members now. So it's really really large. So when we started first, it was I think it was 100 and something. We did mention at the last interview that we had. Now we are going over 300, so it's growing really, really um, rapid. We have garnered attention from Intel, um, attention from Rev Robotics, the founders of Rev, Rev, Rev Robotics, because they're interested in seeing and also hearing from us some more. What are we doing in the, in the small island that we're at, you know, that is so intriguing? So um, hopefully in 2023 of May, we'll be having representatives from Intel down here to be a part of some of the projects that, that we're actually doing. Meanwhile, Dr. Neil noted that the work of the SKNRA is not limited to just St. Kitts, but divisions are actively involved. For this competition, we had close to four members from Nevis, right? Three members from Nevis, including Brandon, right? So we had about three members from Nevis who, were, who, who would have been here constantly uh, being a part of the process. Um, the Ministry of Education in Nevis actually participated. Um, in terms of providing the necessary tickets for the persons who are, who are on the team to travel back and forth. So that was a good, um, um, a good um, initiative. We had conversation with the PEO and she was excited about the process. And, and so soon and very soon, we, 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 we might be having an office in, in Nevis, who knows? So we might have an SKNRA office in, 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 in Nevis. Um, so persons can organize there and be a part of the competition here in St. Kitts. Recently, the St. Kitts Nevis Robotics team retained its top rankings at the just-concluded first Global Robotics Olympics held in Geneva, Switzerland. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.